Welcome back to another quick guide. Today I'll teach you how to use Puppet Tool and Adobe Animate. And it's literally an easy process. Make sure to watch until the end of the video to know how it's done. So now let's open the Tools panel and choose the Asset Warp tool or just click at W key on your keyboard. Click on the object you want to animate. You'll see polygonal grid lines appear. Click and drag from one part of the character to another to create your first joint. For example, drag the head to the tail of the bird. This connects multiple symbols, creating a joint, and you'll see the child joint appear at the end of the tail. To create joints for other parts, Activate the root joint. Once it's active, any additional clicks will branch out from the root joint, forming new parts of the rig. To add legs or other limbs, click the root joint again to make it active. Be sure you understand the movement pattern of the moving bird for accurate joint placement. If you need to cancel the creation of a new joint, click on an empty space or press escape. To delete the joint, click on it and press delete button. Once your rig is complete, you can adjust it by dragging the joints or selecting and bending the bones as needed. To animate the bird, insert frames and frame 40 and frame 80. Choose the 40th frame and click insert frame for the 80th frame. Follow the guided prompts to animate the bird pointing toward the sky. After setting everything up, choose all the frames by clicking on the last frame, holding shift and then clicking on the first frame to highlight all the frames. Then click on insert classic tween to enable smooth motion and play back the rig character to see it in action. And that's how to use the asset warp tool for puppet animation and Adobe animate. And that's all for now folks. Thanks for watching.